is up, YouTube? It's with the franchise guy. Come back at you again with another episode of Madden 19, my career featuring your boy, the left outside line. That's true. I think we're a right outside linebacker. We're a linebacker. We don't play linebacking, though. We don't cover. We pass rush. His name is Chance Bishop. He's the all time leading sack scatter, which we'll call it Broski. Yeah, yo, he's pretty good. I mean,. To say the least, I think he's pretty good. I mean, I'll draft him in my fantasy team if we could draft defensive players. But you don't draft defensive players. You don't draft offensive players because, yeah, that's how fantasy works, I guess. Who knew? But last episode, we had a slight hiccup going into the season. We split our first four games. For the first time in a long time, uh... We do not have a winning record coming out of the first month of the season. I mean, it's not a losing record, it's not a winning record. I mean, that's something that uh, Chance Bishop really hasn't uh, hasn't seen at all in his career. He's come to this team, they signed him as a free agent, and they were always winners. They were never once really had a bound a bad month. They never really lost ever two games in a row. Or let alone two games in a single month. I think that's also problems with our team getting older. I mean, our team is extremely old now. I mean, we have Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox are still in this team. Swa Cravens is at least 30. Cause I know I think he's 25 in the base game, around there roughly. So he has to at least be 30. But uh, we're trying. We're trying to hold on. We're trying to you know. Have one last push or two at the Super Bowl, but uh, bit of celebration right here going on for the Browns. I actually don't think I've ever seen this style of celebration before. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen like this this animation before. It's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, we end up losing. That sucks. We end up losing by a touchdown, 35-28. To put us below 500 for the first time in a long time it's been a couple seasons since the Eagles were below 500 I mean I think that last time Eagles were below 500 in this franchise what we're talking about here not real life Eagles was uh, uh Doug Pearson's first season taking on these Steelers right now and uh even in the future future this feature at least uh the Steelers still have well they still have Antonio Brown, Ben Roethlisberger is long gone, and Le'Veon Bell. So it's Kid Kelly, he's he's the quarterback right now for the Steelers. Bell and Antonio are still on this team. I do believe Antonio is still on the team, but I do know Le'Veon Bell is definitely on the team. There's Juju Smith-Schuster, as always, you know, doing what Juju does. He has fun. He's a kid, in like the good way, not like. He's a mature kind of kid. Like he's a very professional, very um, great athlete. By the way, Juju Smith-Schuster, one of those players that you thought about him. You see Madden 18, he would always get cut out of uh, preseason. So I'm like, ah, whatever. I picked him up one year, and then he blows up, and now you can't trade for him in the game. That's fun. It's whatever, I guess. But first and ten. Gonna get that sack right here in the first quarter. Force the fumble because Chance Bishop is a monster when it comes to, I guess, rushing defender, rushing the quarterback right there. But he's also a holding penalty on this too. I mean, ugh, such a hard call right there. Second and eight right now. Le'Veon Bell gets it, and Chance Bishop's gonna drag down. The running back right there, nine carries, 55 rushes or 55 yards. I mean, he's a Hall of Fame running back. I'm sorry, it's he set out this real year. He's gonna be a Hall of Fame running back. There's no way around it. He puts up two good numbers when he's healthy, and unless you're making the playoffs, he's healthy. I only see him really miss games, especially only in like big playoff games and big games in general. Uh, Problem is with the Jets is they're not gonna have that. I don't think he's gonna have that. It's gonna help Sam Darnold become a better quarterback, having 
a consistent run game, having a um, a pass catching back that he can sh uh, throw short to. But I don't think uh, Le'Veon Bell's gonna be a difference maker for this Jets offense. So now right now he's not a difference maker for Mike Tomlin's offense, as you know. We're just getting sack after sack on this quarterback right here. It's our fourth sack of the game right there. Five tackles, four sacks. He'll skip to my Lou right there. He gets a little dunk on him. Chance you're white. You don't you don't dance like that. Will Kelly, something Kelly, W Kelly. What a Kelly. <sighs> just gonna be like, why Kelly? Why? Why do you gotta, you know, not be Ben Roethlisberger? And uh, we're gonna wail on Kelly again right there, forcing another fumble this game. It's gonna be Carver's first fumble recovery of the game. It's gonna be uh, Kelly's second fumble of the game, both forced by Chance Bishop. I mean, some people think uh, Chase Bishop may be a bit overrated as a defender. I can see where he come as. Sure, he's only the leading all-time sacks. He's all-time sacks leader. Okay. He's by far a first ballot Hall of Famer. Okay. Cool with whatever. He's the all-time single game sacks leader. Okay, cool with whatever. All-time single season sacks leader. Or whatever. I mean, he's probably gonna be up there in tackles too. He's not gonna be, he's not gonna break the tackle record. Probably not break the force fumble record either. He'll have to break force fumble. But sacks he already has. I mean, he's got what four rings? I mean, he can't. You're gonna get in the Hall of Fame just because the four rings. Just because that, you're gonna be in the Hall of Fame. No way around it. You'll be in the Hall of Fame. Because of it, but uh, definitely Chance Bishop is. Ah, uh, he's he's on a team right now, and he's got two years left of his contract. He's got this year. He's got next season. So I guess we'll see then what we have to do. Because if it's best for us to say move on from the Eagles, look for greener pastures. I wouldn't be against it, maybe, thinking of it this way. I mean, we've done all we can for the Eagles. We've done all we can for the city of Philadelphia. I just, I'm just thinking that maybe it's time for us to strongly consider free agency. But, um, who knows, maybe, uh... I'm just pulling some strings right here to get a better contract. Maybe I'm gonna be an eagle for life. But I don't think I don't personally think it'd take another five years, another five year contract, another extension that involves me being here for a lot more losing seasons. Yeah, I'll go down as the greatest eagle of all time. Hands down, no way around that. The best the greatest eagle of all time. Two hundred fourteenth career sack right there. Hands down the greatest eagle of all time. We're only like 26 right now. I mean, I don't know how many seasons have been in the league right now. I think it's only been like five seasons, something like that. But we've got a lot of sacks. We're just a prolific pass rusher just because. Just because we, that's what we do. We just rush the passer. We don't really do cover much. We upgraded. Every season, we just worked on, we grind on it. We, you know, we got what we had to do. We got our power move better, our spin move better. Oh yeah, so we're just a god. Wish we could upgrade that speed a little bit, because I do believe our man's a little slow for 99 overall. Uh, 99 overall, who has a uh, little to no speed. I think it's like in the 70s, but it's not enough to actually be a linebacker. Like, if we were to actually try and run someone down in coverage, we're too slow. Too slow. That's the main reason why I don't do it. Can't play man coverage, because man coverage, I'm too slow for man. I'm too slow to pursue players. I guess I'll just, like, if I pursued up, maybe that'll affect it in the sim. But I don't, I don't know. Couldn't, couldn't tell you at all. I could not tell you one bit what, uh... What it would be. But, uh, 
right now we're losing to Dallas, and Dallas is not a team we want to lose to. I mean, we're putting the pressure on Dak right there. Four sacks, four tackles total on the game. I mean, just take him down to the two-minute warning. I mean, we're trying our best right now to get this win. We just turned out. I was never a fan of him when the Eagles hired him. But uh, this is why we ended up losing. Uh, we held Dak Prescott to 34 passing yards. So Zeke literally beats us on the ground. And that defense beat us with three takeaways. I mean, I guess when you only have 35 passing yards, you got to beat the other team somehow. Taking on the Panthers right now. I... I'm pretty sure Cam Newton's still the quarterback. I'm not actually entirely sure anymore because a lot of quarterbacks have changed teams. I know where I know all the except for Prescott, the running back, the and both quarterbacks for Giants and Redskins, Redskins running back have changed. So I'm not sure really. They're not real players, but, you know, I know who they are because I play them so much, because I play them twice a season for the past, I don't know, a couple seasons. But, yeah, no, it's not entirely sure where all these players ended up. Uh, Ronald Jones, the second, uh, is start his season, you know, career mode off on the Bucks. Now is on this team right here, the Panthers. So... Graham Gano is longer the kicker for Panthers. He's probably retired. Uh, and no, Cam Newton is not their quarterback right now. Cam Newton is probably either retired or he's on another team. Number seven is their quarterback, unfortunately. Um, don't really know what his name is. Can't really see what his name is. We're going to get our first sack of the game on him right there. I mean, look at that. That's just a classic sack. Just classic Chance Bishop sack right there. Nothing nothing against that right there. Doesn't hit him too hard. Doesn't you know, force him to the ground or anything. Doesn't hit him low or hard. You know, doesn't, doesn't do anything out of the ordinary. That's his 218th career sack right there. So it's pretty wild. First and 10 right now. Bishop showing off some of those wheels as we're going to... You know, run down this quarterback right now. Tries to get out of the pocket. You know, tries to throw it away. But, you know, get our 30th tackle on the season. Just jumping on his back. Taking him to the ground. Demetrius, pretty happy with that right there. Pretty, uh, pretty excited to see what happened. You know, pretty excited to see that. Chase Bishop is still putting out the dominant performance he was that, you know, led the Eagles to four consecutive Super Bowl championships. But uh, unfortunately, that's not going to be enough for this game as Demetrius is not the happiest of campers right now as we lose 27 to 21. I mean, we're sub 500 right now, guys. But if you like this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you missed the episode, hit the post down below. And hit that little notification button because I do upload daily. Peace out. Rock on, you